search Stuart we're here on the morning of your first team announcement um, and you can tell me in advance um, the players that you've picked in your 22 to face Scotland at, at Murrayfield on Saturday Hold on for the press uh, yes uh, uh, we'll be going front row of Alex Corbusero, Dylan Hartley Dan Cole uh, <coughs> all three have played and been in the World Cup obviously a lot of experience in there and uh, you know, they've, they've all trained well to be honest so I'm very comfortable with what, how they've done uh, second row We've got uh, um, Moritz Botha and Tom Palmer. And again, <coughs> Mo is probably a bit unlucky not to have made the World Cup squad. Uh, and certainly his form for Saracens this season has been exceptional, really. Uh, and Tom, as you know, you know, is an experienced international player. Run the line out and uh, you know, very confident in, 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 in what he'll bring. Um, and then back row, again, you know, Chris Robshaw, we know, has been named as captain. He'll be playing at seven. Uh, and his... Uh, he again was probably someone who was unlucky not to go to the World Cup, just judging by you know the feedback from the camp. <coughs> and this is his opportunity, you know, as a captain, I'm sure he'll step up. He's you know be fantastically supported by Tom Croft, who's probably one of our most experienced players in the forward forward pack. Um, Tom being a British Lion and uh, like thirty odd caps for England, and obviously number eight Phil Dowson, first cap for him. So you know, great opportunity for him. You know, we've got. Uh, um, ben Morgan on the bench as well, you know, um, who I'm sure will come on and make an impact. But Phil's just got that um, match experience that, that he's gained at, at club level that we sure will transfer to the international stage. So, great opportunity for him. Um, half backs, we're going uh, Ben Youngs and Charlie Hodson. Uh, again, Ben uh, struggled a bit with his knee before the World Cup, but has come back to a real good form for, for Leicester now. And um, with him starting, uh, we're confident it'll bring the best out of him um, and we've got Lee Dixon on the bench obviously who will, we feel will sure make an impact as he uh, as he comes on the second half. Uh, Charlie for me um, is a, uh, one of the form flyers of the Premiership, well he's one of the form flyers of the Premiership and played really well consistently throughout the season uh, and he's like a, uh, a new list of life for him here, you know he's been fantastic, he's playing with some younger players, he's taken the lead uh, which is exactly what we want from, from our fly half. Um, so yeah, his is a, um, uh, a positive selection for him and a great opportunity. And to add to the Saracens contingent, we've picked uh, Owen Farrell at 12 and Brad Barrett at 13. Uh, Owen's done extremely well this year for Saracens. He's been uh, temperament and the quality of his skills, his core skills, has been very impressive. <coughs> and similarly in the camp, he's done the same. So, uh, and Brad at 13 will give us that balance in our centre partnership that we're looking for. Uh, obviously, they're used to playing together. Uh, we'll play them slightly differently to how Saracens use them, but uh, <coughs> generally it'll be uh, um, uh, you know obviously a Saracens 10, 12, 13, and with Dave Strettle we've picked on the wing uh, um, at 14. Uh, you know, it, it, Dave for me it was a tight call between him and Charlie uh, Sharples, but uh, he just edged it in terms of his training and how he's gone over the last 10 days, and uh, so really pleased with what he's done. Um, and then to complement the back three. We've got Chris Ashton and Ben Foden, both of whom, who I think we all know are on their day, world-class players, and um, they've both trained that way. That actually has been exceptional, both of them. So no real um, uh, decisions to be made on, on, on that side of things. You know, it was just uh, uh, Mike Brown had pushed Ben hard, but we're going to leave Mike on the bench. So, so for us, the bench will look like um, Rob Webber, who will get his first cap, hopefully. Um, you know, he's gone well for us, I know him well, uh, and this is an opportunity for him to step up. You know, Steve Thompson leaving, we've got to find the next hookers. Um, Matt Stevens gives us the versatility uh, as our prop on the bench, and they've got Jeff Parlin who can come on and run a line out and also play two in the line out. Um, so we've got cover there. Uh, and as I said before, Ben Morgan uh, on the bench who will give us physicality, ball carrying ability, and a presence in the second half of the game. I'm sure he'll get his opportunity. Uh, and I've said before, Lee Dixon, and then finally we've got Jordan Turner Hall, who's been playing extremely well for Harlequins, and again, you know, can come on and make an impact with physicality, but also trying to um, use him in a slightly different way as well to make sure that he uses his passing distribution skills as well as his carrying skills. Uh, and then finally, as I say, Mike Brown, uh, who again, you know, pushed Ben Foden close, but in terms of his quality uh, that is brought to the Premiership um, through Harlequins more than deserves his opportunity. So that's the one to 22.